So, I'm making this video because, yeah, I hate the fact I'm, how unhealthy I look. That's besides the point here. So, the point of this video is I have a rant I need to get off my chest. Um, that is First amend Amendment, Amendment, whatever, I can't say it right now. Um, auditors, please stop. Please. You're causing far more harm than any good that you're doing. You seriously are causing far more harm. Some of you are great. Some of you are doing a good thing. Others, you're not. One person commenting. Okay, so you're saying that the journalists respect people like movie stars. Really? I never said that. And that was in reply to a comment I made. Um, no. Um... No, I, I don't think journalists, um, I was simply saying that, um, people like, um, that technically YouTubers, technically, uh, journalists, according to definitions and legalities of what a journalist is, um, and that other types of journalists, um, other types are, I think I might even specify like newspaper or TV or something. Um, show respect um, but I m made sure I didn't include stuff about movie stars because obviously the paparazzi you refer to paparazzi and that's not they're not respecting them anyways okay please and this guy stated he was there for a request now I don't condone these things but he is exercising his right and he is not there illegally point blank. First off, if you're in a government building and you're recording and people are it's causing a problem, a nuisance, a bothersome to other people there, the people who run the government building have every right to kick you the fuck out. That's what happened in the video. And people are saying that they can't legally kick him out. They can. They can trespass them there's they it is what it is that's the law if you cause a disturbance in a business in a building not out on the public streets you by like recording and stuff like that by being a nuisance like that they have every legal right to kick your ass out um um, they should have took care of him quickly and then made him leave. And yeah, he could camp out if he wanted to, but of course people ain't having that and are going to make him leave. But then he will take it to court and that's when it's too much to me. But that's a rights violation, a lawsuit that will make him good money. No. So give him the finger if he wasn't on on that he should explain why he's there but he won't because he wants views everyone acts like idiots here ignore the idiots these youtubers know their rights this is how they make their money so don't think they're not very knowledgeable about their about their rights and what is going to happen because they have done it many times before that's how we've seen these first minute auditors being arrested and jailed because they don't, because some of them honestly don't know their actual laws and and legalities of things, and that's part of where I get to why I'm why I'm saying, please guys stop because there's a lot of you who don't know what the hell you're doing. Um. So that was one thing. I had another person long comment. I got to find that here. I could just go to this instead of going to my gallery probably. Someone else said, he wasn't breaking any law and the others in the comments already explained why he was has the legal right to stay. Their only reason for wanting him to leave is because of their BS feelings of being uncomfortable. It's a feeling. Nobody is responsible for other people's feelings. It's a, it damn sure doesn't automatic, automatically require law enforcement to engage. They are law enforcement. They are law enforcement. What part of that do you not understand? He's a taxpayer. He has the same damn right to be there as the people working. 
No, he doesn't. If they don't want him here, if they, if they don't want him there, he legally can't be there. That's the law. That's the actual law. If people in the business don't want you at the business, they have every legal right to kick your ass out. <laughs> Um, they are what part of them he has the same okay da, da, da. with their stupid logic it would be like him going in there and telling the people that work there to leave because they make him uncomfortable wouldn't that be stupid well it's your logic duh so according to his logic because he's a taxpayer blah 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 and goes back to the you know government building blah 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 whatever well does that mean because of the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, everyone should, has, can legally has the legal right, legally can have a firearm, has the legal right to have a firearm? So we should give murderers firearms because it's the First Amendment, because the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. So if someone's a violent person, expresses desires to kill and murder people. Because of the second man, we should just hand them a firearm. Firearms? Does that make sense? Like that's just literally what these people are saying. Like this is why I really hate first admitted auditors because at the end of the day, they do far more harm than they do any good. Dumb fucks like this person, this James Nelson, doesn't. They don't get it. They don't get the legalities. They watch these people, and they think they know everything. Nah. I just, these people really need to stop. I'm really so annoyed with this stuff. Uh, like, there's just, someone actually made a comment and actually had brains. Yes, um, Jeff's boy, Nikki. Yes, thank you. And he is not a journalist. And the only story he has is the one he's provoking. Well, technically, apparently he is a journalist, as I actually looked at that up to verify for sure. And yeah. Anything um, type of information gathered and published. So essentially, as soon as Anyone gathers any type of information and publishes it, that is, they are officially a journalist at that point. Journalists at the same time aren't immune. They don't have total immunity. They can't do whatever the hell they want. They can't go wherever the hell they want. We've seen journalists go to jail for breaking the law. They're not immune to the law. They can't do whatever the hell they want. It's, I mean, think about it. How many times do we see like news reporters and stuff when they're asked to leave or something, they, when they, and they have to try maybe one or two more times to get the information they want for the story and they can't, they, and they're told to leave, they, they leave. Because they understand that, despite being a journalist, they can go to jail if they don't leave. That they can't legally stay there. They understand that. These first amendment auditors, a lot of them, they don't get that concept. That just because they're a journalist, that they, they think that they can go wherever the hell they want and there's nothing anyone can do about it. But that's not the, le that's not the legal reality. Again, please, First Amendment auditors, please stop. You're causing a lot of problems. You know, the way you're you're doing shit, you know, it's what what happens when the day you get someone and they you know and they start shit with someone who cares and they end up dead. You're gonna blame the other person? Probably because you think you're perfect and you can't do anything wrong. I would seriously laugh my ass off if a first minute otter got shot and killed. I would, or stabbed to death or something. I would honestly laugh my ass off because 
of the simple fact that so many of them are just stupid. They're promoting stupid behavior, getting people to commit, to do things, to do illegal things, and it's making bigger problems. Again, there's some good ones out there, you know, but the majority are not. And he said that the guy was there to get something. I've seen so many first minute auditors make up a story, a lie, say they're there to get something, but they never did it because they weren't. They used some type of thing that they could say they're there for. It's, uh... And honestly, if it was honestly there to grab whatever, is he really going to be recording and bothering people there like that? No. I get it that it's a legal right to record and everything. I get it. But at the same time, if you know it's going to, if you know it's going to irritate and bother and it make people uncomfortable and you del deliberately do it anyways, you're just going out there deliberately to make problems. You're not actually trying to do anything good. Now, there's a lot of them that literally go out there knowing and in situations they know which one to make great problems. And they deliberately um, do it just to create problems. That's not respectful what at all. That's not, you know. Now, it would be one thing if someone was going around making a video, you know, or something. Like, I was walking around making a video and stuff, and somebody came up and was like, hey, please don't, don't, don't record me. Or something and it was like they just happened to be in my shot my video shots that's you know I'm not going to stop you know no that's on them no I'm not directly recording them they just I'm recording other stuff and they just happen to be in the shot that's very different from uh, someone who is deliberately recording the people or making the person the focal point of the recording. Very different. That's what a lot of first minute auditors do. They go out there and deliberately antagonize and harass people because they can legally get away with it. That's not okay. That's... I don't approve of that. I don't, it's not acceptable. Maybe we need to have laws to drastically restrict and regulate stuff like that. Maybe we need it. 